and go. Okay, so we'll start off going through the mandible model. We, of course, have the body of the mandible, which is the length of bone here, and the ramus of the mandible projecting up. We have the mandibular condyle, the projection at the back, and the coracoid process, the projection we can see buried under the muscle here. The muscle we can see out here is the masseter muscle, and around the coronoid process, we have the temporalis muscle. As we go forward in the model, we can see the gingiva, which is the pink, or gum, and containing the teeth. There are two incisors, one canine, two bicuspids, or premolars, and three molars located at the back of the mouth. On each tooth, the surface is a white enamel. If we can remove the enamel, the yellow we see underneath is the dentine, and ultimately the pink is the dental pulp. At the bottom of the tooth, we can see the root canal allowing the nerves, arteries, and veins in and out. If we go inside the model, we can see the mandibular foramen here, and the mandibular foramen is allowing the inferior alveolar arteries, veins, and nerve access to the bottom of the jaw. Some of these arteries, veins, and nerves branch out and come through the mental foramen to form the mental arteries, veins, and nerves. We'll switch over to Torso Man for just a sec to show you a couple features. First, don't forget the esophagus is this green tube we see coming through. The diaphragm, the dome of muscle, is or penetrated by the esophagus at the esophageal hiatus. Now in the region of this esophagus right here, this is where we would find the cardiac sphincter which separates the stomach from the esophagus.